Alright, so one thing I had a problem with when I got the software, I know how to use a, uh, the old MPC, and uh, I'm very analog minded, I know how to do a lot of the older stuff, but when I got the, the software, I couldn't find any of the the sounds, like some of, I could find the drum sounds, but I couldn't find any of the keyboard sounds, so um, I called uh, my boy at Royal Productions, and he told me how to pull up the plugins. Uh, so I'm gonna run through that real quick. Uh, shout out to Leo and my brother Leo. Shout out. All right. So uh, real quick, we're gonna run through how to how to pull up the plugins on the MPC software, the uh, MPC Studio, MPC Renaissance. Uh, I think the the Mini, the MPK, uh, MPK Mini. Um, yeah, they're pretty much all the same. So. I'm gonna run through it real quick and just to let you know real quick that I have the MPC Studio and the MPK Mini and they run together so I put um it's the they run on one program you can use either one at any time if you want to use the keyboard you can use it if you want to use the MPC you can use the MPC um, when I first hooked it up, it didn't recognize the MPK, so I just restarted the computer after I installed everything, and it it recognized it. Um, and there is a setting right here if your MPK doesn't pick up. Um, settings. Uh, where is it? Uh, preferences, and you go to MIDI. Click MPK Mini in the MIDI uh, right here. It says MIDI, so just click MPK and OK, and uh, it'll recognize it fine. If it doesn't set, do that setting and just restart your computer, and it'll pick it up. All right, so I'm gonna run through how to pull up the the plugins. So I'm gonna start a new session, and to pull up the drums. All the drums are over here. So you have a lot of stuff here. You just select which drums you want. Um, this one has a cool one that's all together. Let's see. All. Oh. I'm just using this one because it throws them all. You can pick sounds one by one and put them on whichever pad you want. So. So that's, that's really simple. So. Like you take a sample, you can take a sample and take that drum right there and put it on the first pad. So now, it's there. Oh shit, what is that? No, we don't want that. Okay, that was something else. But you just drag and drop them on and it'll go on any pad you want. Now to pull up the 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 keyboard sounds, basses, synths, uh, pianos, all that, is a little bit harder. Um, so we're going to open a new track go to track two and you see where it says type you gotta tell the program that you want to use a plugin um, and then here plugin one so now it's all set up to use a plugin but there's no plugin so you click here and you have um, these three that come with it this one came with the MPK but once you install them they'll pop up right here so the bank has a bunch of natural sounds. If you hit this little E right here, or pull up the actual, actual piece. Um, so, all right, that's one. Um, so this is one plugin. That's that's pretty cool. It has um, some natural sounding sounds. The the bank is like. Actual it sounds like a uh, uh, analog instruments. Um, heavy bass. Someone asked me about bass sounds, so I'm gonna pull up a lot of different basses. All right, so the bank is cool, but the one that I like is the Hybrid Three. It's really cool. Um, and here, like it has. Uh, they go with the 
their sequence, so they go with the tempo, whatever tempo. Um, let's see. So they have sequence based, different bases. That's kind of a cool effect, right? I don't know if you can hear it, I'll turn it up. Like some techno, techno. Alright, now if you just want a regular bass, um, let's see, here's hard basses. Let's go an octave down. Bases. Uh, so that's one. There's one. This is all one uh, file sequence base. Hard bases is another file. And just there's all different kind of different kind of bases. Um, soft bases. Base you can think of is basically in here, um, and they have uh, synth sounds. Um, here's another bass, more natural sounding kind of bass, still analog sounding. Uh, but anything you want is in here. Some synths. Let's see. stuff. Alright, let's pull up uh, keyboards and go up a couple octaves. Alright, uh, so basically any sound you want is in here, anything. Um, let's go to another plugin, go down here, you change the plugin again. Uh, the bank is more like drum sounds. Oh no, that's the has more natural sounds. Which one is the drum? The 809 has a lot of the the sounds. Uh, let's see where you at. Now this this came with the MPK. You don't really need this if you have the MPC. The MPC came with all of the drums from the 60 to the uh, 5,000 every single different drum pack that those NPCs came with uh, it came in here let me show you that real quick so let's go back to track one some drums and I put my sounds on uh, drum content drum Drum coop, drum kits. Wait, no. So NPC Legacy in the drum content folder, the one that says NPC Legacy, it has the NPC 60 sounds, all of them, all of the old school NPC sounds, the 500, all the old sounds, all the 808s, all that that everybody likes. Um, that's the 2000. So if you if you like the MPC 2000 sounds, they're all in here. That's the that's the 808 from the MPC 2000. All the different. That's a popular snare right there. The MPC 2000 uh, 808 snare, 2500, and then uh, 3000 and uh, 5000. Alright, so 
that's basically it that's how you get the sounds where you want them and how you use them and then once you have the 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 sound set up for pick whichever one you want uh, you just hit record if you hit record and play it'll record if you overdub and you let it keep going it's going to keep recording every time um, always hit re overdub record and then play start so oh and then uh, so there's an undo button right here on the NPC that I use a lot undo uh, that undoes anything you just did and I messed up so I did undo um, if you go to metronome you want to turn count in on and record that's how I always set mine up and then enable on record also so once you hit record hit play from start I mean that's nothing but just showing that you record. Now if you it's on overdub, so if you it's gonna keep adding stuff in every time you push it. So you turn record off. And then um whatever you have this set to, the it's gonna fall on that. So if you want it to sound more natural, you wanna put it on 64 and it'll record basically exactly how you put it. Uh the time correct up here, you can't get past that. But if it's like drums or something, you can put it on 16. They're gonna fall right on the right on the money each time you do it. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, I can go more into detail about the uh, quantizing and the time correct on here. Uh, but that's how you pull up the sounds and, and get stuff going and to, ready to record. You go through these steps and you'll be able to record. If you are a talented musician, you'll be able to make something nice. All right, cool. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>